Welcome back to Burgundy Drip Gold Trim. If you're here for the first time, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Definitely make sure after you subscribe, you hit the notification bell. Now let's get right into this video. Owens Mills, Commanders, Ravens for the joint practices. I just had like a, um, just want to give a brief commentary from the footage that was released, of course, you know, the Ravens, they live streamed it and there's not much footage on us, like far as like a lot of what we did offensively, but it is bits and pieces of it online. But man, like very impressive, very impressive outing. We needed these joint practices. Sam needed to see another team and another defense that he he's not used to and um, he doesn't see every day. So he's still going to find his footing and grounding week by week. I want to take it week by week. He did look real good out there. Jahan, boy, he knows how to separate. He knows, and that's going to play a big role in this offense because I already can see the big play potential that we're going to get out of him. We already know what Terry can do. We know what Curtis Samuel, the jackknife of this offense and his receiving core can do. And it's just going to be just like defenses every single week trying to figure out how they're going to stop us. How, how, who is going to cover this person? Who is that? And even on the receiving core, we still got running backs in the backfield. Brian Robinson, he's stepping up in the pass department. We know what he could do as a running back. Antonio Gibson, another jackknife, another weapon. We just have so much at our expense. Sam is in good hands. Now, one of the concerns was the offensive line, but it looked like it's, it's picking it up and hopefully gradually every single week we fix that. Like we work, we, we're, we're working it, you know, it starts to come together more as a cohesive unit. We start to build and form and collect the brick wall with the glue we got intact. Um, And hopefully they bond. But, but yeah, it, look, it looked good and you already know what Big John Allen did on that defensive line. He was looking real good out there. Like he, he's, he's been looking real good. I expect a good year out the Bama boys. Um, I believe for Darian Mathis was like, um, he didn't, he didn't, wasn't out there. I don't think it's, they say his foot's in the cast. I'm not sure. Um, Montez and, and Chase out there doing their thing. They say also our seventh round pick, Andre Jones was looking good out there as well from some notes that I've read. But far as the footage, I like what I see from the zone scan. I like the tenacity. And I, Forbes is already coming into a good cornerback room. And he's coming in with other good defensive backs as well. And um, he, he's, bring, he's bringing that he bringing that tenacity, man. He's bringing that energy we definitely need in the secondary. This would be good because we don't need slow starts. We need zero slow starts. Like I said in the previous video, going into the game against Philly, I preferably would like to be 2-0. I don't want us to drop any of those first two games. I feel like that's a failure right there. We should already have... This mindset and energy is like, look, let's learn from my mistakes from previous years. These slow starts, even in a lot of the slow starts, we lost games that we should have won, that we had in the bag of what we believe so, but we got put in a trick bag. But you already see with the coming in of EB, it seems to, to like bring a new energy in the, the shift and change of hands, the keys being ha handed to Josh Harris group. Uh, Mitchell Rails and Magic Johnson, you started to see the shift in the whole culture, like the whole energy. It's just like we want to, we really want to win. Now you're in the presence of an actual organization, people who know how to run an organization. Your fan base is coming back. Magic Johnson is a winner. Just, just the fact that you have somebody in that status in sports, might probably not in the field of football, but it's just in the, the whole realm of sports. The magnitude that brings and carries to this organization is amazing. You can see that. Now, I don't know who was complaining or, or what so or whoever, but hey, whatever EB doing, keep doing it, EB, because you already seen in the preseason and, and joint practices, you're going, somebody's going to come back and probably apologize or something. Well, hopefully they do. And they say, okay, yeah, we need that because that attitude that's on the offense the defense is going to pick up that energy too. And they're like, yeah, we got your back. That's how it should be. Special teams. Eric, we got your back. 
you, everybody's gonna carry each right you know what i'm saying we a bond you know what i'm saying we're gonna build a bond we the chain gang we're gonna carry it carry it to the top we're gonna carry the rock to the top <laughs> but our rookies look good I and mean, you know sam east is um in his second year and in many eyes he's still a rookie but I, i'm kind of glad we took the approach of just sitting them that whole year and playing them that last game even though i know a lot of people will probably wanted to see him in in other games but it, it's good that he came in on which he did and he built upon it in the um the the off season and you know a lot of people and media a lot of these writers are like this guy's real like it it is it, it short it shortly but surely came upon people started to change their opinion like oh we don't know he's a fifth round pick i don't know why guys are always caught up in this ranking drafting position but we see a lot of guys in the nfl who weren't first round picks who weren't top 10 who some people considered a reach at that time you know exceed expectation we always get caught up in draft number and draft position and stock and all this stuff a lot of people just want to be right a lot of people are trying to build their credibility and make it seem like they're the know-it-all be it all but none of these guys seem to lose their credibility and stock when they're wrong and they never admit to they wrong sam is a very likable guy a lot of people want to play with him and play for him on his team so hey that's a part of the new change and shift in the energy that i'm liking I'm liking the fight the fact that it was a scuffle on the field. We all had each other back. You know, the team we, the team had each other back. You know, it's hot out there. You know, tempers flaring, people competitive. And that's what we need, that competitive energy, mindset, and nature. Week in, week out, it's going to be a long season. We want to take the best of this. We want to take advantage of this. I love this core that we have intact. I love this core offensively and defensively. I love it. Let's build upon what we already have in place with this foundation. Ron Rivera said it takes three to five years to build a culture. We gave you year three. We almost got in there. We almost got in there, Ron. You got enough. This might be your last year. You want you in a good spot. So the pressure going to be on him. The pressure is going to be on EB as well because many are looking for EB to fail and to also add to the narrative of, see, this is why he isn't a head coach in the NFL. Even though we've seen offensive and defensive coordinators that uh, were coached on teams that went 3-14 and 14, still get a job next, the, you know what I'm saying, the, the years after. So it's like, it's crazy. But hey, that just is what it is. That's all I got to say in regards to that. The preseason is on Monday um, against the Ravens. So I'll give you a preview on that as well. But hey, till next time.